you know, this is a team uh, full of veterans. It's a team that has, uh, you know, a lot of guys in the team that have gone to the NCAA tournament the last two years, uh, have, you know, made the parents in the Final Four of the ECAC the last two years, won the ECAC two years ago. Uh, you know, they, they have a goalie in Columbia that's, uh, you know, that's proven that he can, uh, you know, carry a team down the stretch. So uh, we, we think they're a dangerous team. We've had two uh, very close games with them, and uh, I think it's a, it's a great uh Great challenge for us, and one more. Yeah, I thought we played well on Friday night. Uh, we had plenty of chances. I thought we we outchanced them a pr pretty uh, large amount, and uh, you know, uh, bad bounce on the first goal, and uh, you know, we had two or three good looks in overtime as well. So uh, Saturday night, uh, it was a little different story. We put ourselves behind the eight ball, taking a five-minute penalty early, but um, you know, we really rallied in the third. Hopefully, we found a little bit of an identity that we can take forward here to Princeton because. Uh, you know we're really going to have to uh, to play better hockey. I mean, there's no there's no denying it. I think so. I think uh, you know we we talked in a class that's uh, played in the ECAC championship game and uh, you know been on the road uh, in the playoffs as well. So they have some good experience and uh, you know no, you know nobody can have success this time of year without some real uh, you know outstanding leadership and some and some real solid play from their their senior group and uh, you know we we. We like to think that you know they'll they'll step up and and really lead our group uh, this weekend and beyond. Hopefully.